welcome to Prudent News. Now look at the headlines. Criminal proceedings could be initiated against Babu Kalikar in disproportionate assets case. State election officer says it's a criminal offence but does not lead to disqualification of MLA. Seven shops gutted in fire, loss of 15 lakhs, gift items and garments gutted. Fire brigade which is laid at the site, locals demand fire station near Mobor. MOEF directs regional office to carry out site-specific inspection of mines in Goa. Expert appraisal committee constituted to monitor process. Report to be submitted within 15 days. Labor Day celebrated in Goa. 7,000 workers rally demanding workers' right. I take pledges to support workers whenever required. And Goans for WONE charges CM of misguiding people, says Matani did not support Mopa Airport, demand Davoli land back from me. And now the news in detail. Criminal proceedings can be initiated against MLA Babu Kalikar if he is proved guilty of filing false affidavit before the election commission. State Chief Electoral Officer says not declaring full property details does not lead to disqualification of a MLA, but certainly it's a criminal offence. Anti-Corruption Bureau in its probe has found that Congress MLA from Kepe has accumulated disproportionate assets worth crows in Kerala. ACB will soon summon Babu before registering a case. Congress says it's a political conspiracy. Officials of Anti-Corruption Bureau are just waiting for assembly session to end to tight the grip over Chandrakan alias Babu Kawakar over his unaccountable properties in Kerala. ACB in its initial investigation has found that Babu Kawakar has bought more than 15 properties in Kerala valued more than 5 crore rupees during year 2008-2009. During that period, Babu was holding the post of Chairman of Goa Industrial Development Corporation. So there are number of properties subject to correction, maybe 15 to 20. Uh, the total value is coming to like 5 crores 54 lakhs. So all these properties, well it's legitimate to hold these properties, but uh, we wanted to check out whether these properties are legally or how did he invest so much money into such property. Before we can uh, make out a case for disproportionate assets, we have registered this preliminary inquiry Mr. Kaulekar will be sent a notice to remain present in the anti-corruption in order to answer how he has made these investments. During the course of investigation, ACB has found that all properties are on Babu Kaulekar's name, but while filing the nomination for contesting assembly election, he did not declare these properties. So we have come to a conclusion for the time being that this is illegal wealth that has been illegal uh, uh, assets of uh, Mr. Babu Kaulikar that he has invested through illegal means. As per the declaration made during filing the nomination in 2007 assembly election, Babu Kaulikar was having total assets worth 1 crore 31 lakh 66 thousand and 225 rupees. During filing the nomination in 2012 assembly election, Babu Kaurekar declared rise in assets more than 300 percent. The assets were worth 5 crore 31 lakhs 79,015 rupees. According to Anti-Corruption Bureau, none of Babu's Kerala properties were mentioned in the declaration. 
State Chief Electoral Officer Narayan Nauti says that not declaring full details of properties will not lead to disqualification of MLA, but certainly a criminal proceedings can be initiated for filing a false affidavit before the election commission. That doesn't it's not dis uh, disqualification. Giving false affidavit is an offence. So naturally, offence will have to be registered against for giving false information. Meanwhile, Congress party has termed this action politically motivated. Spokesperson of Congress Alex Rajna Lawrence said that ACB is acting on directions of Chief Minister Manohar Parikar. I have already said that it is a politically motivated complaint and that we will take a detailed press conference on Monday and give all facts and details. It would be interesting to see how the former IDC chairman and MLA from Kepe faces the ACB probe. Mukesh Kumar with video journalist Tushidas Chari for Prudent. Seven shops were gutted in fire on Wednesday morning. The shops were erected temporarily at Mobor. The loss in the fire is estimated to almost 15 lakh rupees. Locals claim that the fire brigade took almost half an hour to reach at the spot. By then, shops had turned to ashes. People have demanded a fire station near Mobor. Fire Brigade officials claim that there was no fire safety system in place. This incident occurred early morning on Wednesday. Seven temporary shops erected at Mobor caught fire. Blazes burnt, gift items and garments to ashes. Estimated loss is almost worth 15 lakhs. <laughs> However, the locals claim that the fire brigade reached at the spot almost after half an hour of continuous calls. They have demanded for a fire station near to Mobor. I was the first to dial 101. They told me it is in Panjim. I told them to inform, but no, nobody came. At least half an hour continuous we were calling them, but nobody reached. Police were the first one to reach here. And I'd like to request whoever the government or whatever to have a station here, because from the, from Margaon to come here, they take a lot of time because of the traffic and all. By the time, every, all the damage is caused here. However, the fire officials claim that the shopkeepers do not have any fire protection or safety systems in place. Reporter Pratik Para for Prudent. Union Ministry of Environment and Forest has directed its regional office in Bangalore to carry out site-specific inspection of mines in Goa to examine reallocation of environment clearances. The affidavit submitted by the MOEF says that expert appraisal committee has been constituted to monitor the process. Multiple teams have been formed to carry out this exercise. The affidavit submitted by the Union Ministry of Environment and Forest in the Supreme Court clearly mentions that buffer zone for the state of Goa will be decided once state government submits site-specific proposals to the ministry. Pending that, the ministry will consider 10-kilometer zone as ecologically sensitive. MOEF has already started process of examining each mine in Goa for environment clearance. Expert Appraisal Committee constituted on 21st March, first meeting of the committee held on 5th April, EAC to examine compliance of each mine for ECs. Bangalore office issued directions on 26th March. This is how the EAC will carry out the process of examining each mine for environment clearance. For multiple teams to examine each mine, case-wise report to be submitted in 15 days, ESC to also seek response from the state government, decision about each mine once state government responds. The affidavit claims that state government hasn't replied to their data seeking letter till date. 
It also states that EAC would not be able to carry forward the process if state government fails to submit data. MOEF has not been able to elicit response from the state government. Court may consider issuing directions to the Goa government. Response from state needed in time-bound manner. Sources say that the delay from the state government may result in keeping the ECs in abeyance for a longer period of time. Bureau report, Prudent. Labor Day was celebrated on Wednesday in the state. Over 7,000 workers under the banner of ITAC held a rally in Ponda to mark the celebration. General Secretary of ITAC Christopher Fonseca said that the workers' union will support workers when never required. Hami eyes first me antarashtriya kamgar des antarashtriya shramaji vi lokancho des ya disa pratishna ghetat ki jameren khanchai konche kopran goribi ani tyas barabar anahat pan o kasli pilonok asa jana ami kamgar tancha barabar asat ani tancha ka ami sakshi ditat ani tancha barabar ravun tanka hatan hat jalun हमें वावरता जो हमें आज प्रतिज्ञ न कहता जहाँ मेरे इन समाजवाद यही ना जहाँ मेरे इन समाजवाद योपात हमें वावरता ले इन गोवा तो लॉट्स ऑफ प्रॉब्लम वर्कर्स आर फाइटिंग फॉर द मिनिमम वेजेस देर इज रैंपन अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट इन द स्टेट ऑफ गोवा देर आर वेरियस प्रॉब्लम मेनी ऑफ द इंडस्ट्रीज आर बिन so among all these things, workers are celebrating today because they remember that because of the struggle of those old uh, leaders who have sacrificed their life, unless you come on the road, you fight, you are not going to get your right. Revolution, revolt is necessary and also a hard work is also necessary. It's time for a short break, stay tuned.